court pronounces the following sentence in the case of the state of Georgia versus Justin Ross Harris, criminal action 1493124. As to count one, the court imposes the sentence of, as to malice murder, uh, with the jury having found the defendant guilty, sentence of the court is life to serve in confinement without parole. As to count two, felony murder, guilty. It's vacated by law due to the conviction on count one. As to count three, felony murder, disposition by the jury of guilty. Uh, it is also vacated by law due to conviction on count one. As to count four, cruelty to children in the first degree. Uh, the jury having found the defendant guilty. The sentence of the court is 20 years to serve in confinement. This will be consecutive to count one, malice murder, life to serve in confinement without parole. Count five, cruelty to children in the second degree. The jury having found the defendant guilty, it will merge into count four as a matter of law. As to count six, criminal attempt to commit a felony to wit, sexual exploitation of children uh, with a disposition by the jury of guilty. The court imposes a sentence of 10 years to serve in confinement consecutive to counts one and four. As to count seven, dissemination of harmful material to minors with the jury having found the defendant guilty, the court imposes a sentence of 12 months to serve in confinement consecutive to counts one, four, and six. And as to count eight, dissemination of harmful material to minors, the jury having found the defendant guilty, the court imposes a sentence of 12 months to serve in confinement consecutive to counts one, four, and uh, six, and seven. Mr. Harris, this is to advise you that you have the right to file any action for habeas corpus brought pursuant to Title IX, Chapter 14, Article 2 of the Official Code of Georgia. It must be filed within one year from the judgment of conviction on misdemeanors or four years from the judgment of conviction on felonies becoming final by the conclusion of direct review or the expiration of the time for seeking such review. That would be the fifth day of December. 2016. You also have a right uh, to appellate review. I know that you've discussed that with counsel because you and I have discussed that previously. So let this serve to remind you that you have um, 30 days in which to file the first steps toward appellate review. Mr. Kilgore has already advised the court that he either has or will, I would assume will, file um, a motion for new trial and take the appropriate appellate steps. Is that still your intent, Mr. Kilgore? Yes, ma'am. We'll take care of it. I appreciate that. My final observation is this, um, Mr. Harris. Um, I went back and reviewed and thought about your statement to the police and your statement to your wife when you were taken into custody. And it stood out to me that in both of those, you took the occasion to express your wish that you would be an advocate so that people would never do this again to their children. And I would say, perhaps not in the way that you intended, but you in fact have accomplished that goal. Anything else for the state? No, Your Honor. Anything else for the defense? You can take the defendant into custody. And just wait a second. Let's get him out. All right. 